So the essential objective of the Energy Democracy Initiative is to help support the building of people's power. And that's important because if you're looking at the challenges that we face in the globe today, poverty, inequality, climate change, all of these are connected in some way. And the kind of transformation we are going to have to go through in the world and in our country, South Africa, is going to be at a scale that would require very, very strong engagement on the part of ordinary citizens. And so the starting point of the Energy Democracy Initiative is the recognition that people have power, that they have agency, and that they have to contribute to the decisions that affect their lives. Very often, uh, very well-intentioned initiatives and projects and programs happen on behalf of people without their participation, without their inclusion. So I'm a very strong believer in participatory democracy. It is something we fought for in our country, South Africa, and I believe that we're losing that element of democracy, that it's now seen to be uh, election time, you vote for a party, and that's the sum total of democracy. So bringing all the elements together, the fact that we have to deal with climate change, that climate change will contribute to increasing poverty, that the poor are the most vulnerable, that there is an issue of justice, bringing all of those issues together and using renewable energy as a hook for that is the essential objectives of this Energy Democracy Initiative. Just so the end result is that uh, we would like to have socially owned decentralized renewable energy systems. So community ownership of a renewable energy system. And the phases to get there, this initiative is taking, is a three-phase program. And each phase takes about a year uh, because you have to invest time to be able to get sustainable results. So the first phase is basic training. It's basic understanding of all the concepts that we're dealing with, whether it's understanding energy, what is energy, what is climate change, what is democracy, and we explore this together with these uh, participants who have been selected by the community to go through this three-year program. They're called Energy Democracy Champions. In the second phase, I will be supported by a um, Science and Industrial Research Council in South Africa, and they will do the technical training. So next year, these uh, energy democracy champions will learn how to plan a decentralized mini-grid system for a community. And it will be learning how to do that planning, uh, planning themselves, not an external expert that will come and plan on behalf of the community. They will learn everything about planning, what technologies to choose. What is the best for that area? Is it a hybrid of solar and wind? Is it hydro, etc.? So that's the planning phase. And then in the final phase, we will be training governance training. So what form of community ownership would that uh, the institution look like? Is it a cooperative? Is it going to be a community trust, etc.? We don't make those decisions. The community will have to decide on that. So it's governance training. It will be financial management training. It will be training in... Uh, project management, fundraising, and how to write up fundraising proposals, and then to do fundraising. So that is eventually this project has been planned, is governed, and is owned completely from a bottom-up, in a bottom-up way, uh, by the communities themselves. So there are going to be regulatory <laughs> obstacles. Right now in South Africa there are no regulate well there's no regulations that is allowing for community owned decentralized renewable energy systems. Um, there's a, a small embedded generation regulations, but essentially it's for those who are putting rooftop uh, you know a household level um, uh, generation but nothing for community-owned things. Municipalities don't have the power either to purchase their own uh, renewable energy uh, generated electricity and they're not able to uh, procure that kind of 
services generation of electricity. So all of that is still very much up in the air in South Africa, and there are big battles, in fact, court cases um, that's uh, happening right now. I felt that our starting point could not be there's an obstacle. Our starting point needed to be we can do this, and we will deal with the obstacles as we you know, come to that point where we need permission for things. You don't need permission to build people's power. You don't need permission to get communities organized towards an objective like this. And so you have to be ready when the, the obstacles are taken away. If we waited another three to five years, we'd never get there. So I'm hoping by the time these four pilots are ready to go and engage with government, to engage with the municipality, to engage with the utility, that the communities themselves have knowledge, they know what they're talking about, they will be at that table as an equal partner. That's very important in this game because energy and issues around energy is fundamentally political and it's about power and vested interests. And if you don't have a strong, organized, powerful community to deal with that vested interest or that power, then I think the whole idea of democracy and energy democracy is meaningless. So yes, I, I know there are going to be obstacles, the community knows that there's going to be, but we're getting ready. And we hope that by the time we are ready to roll out this, those obstacles will have been dealt with. Thank mm -hmm. you.